All right, here it is, the Sky RC B6 Neo. If you know, Sky RC B6 used to be the legendary. Well, it still is a legendary charger. And I can tell you to date, some of my friends are still using this one. But anyway, now let's get out of the past and get in the present the all new sky rc b6 neo that offers up to 200 watt of charging power using a dc power and not just that if you have a new usb c power delivery protocol devices you can easily power this charger from a usb c pd and get up to 80 watt of charging power all right so there is more of course we will talk about that inside the box we have a quick start guide you should read it and also remember that this charger is available in many different colors and that is why they are saying it's a stylish <clears throat> charge in a style i got myself blue black and red color right here now that the charger is in my hand as you can see on top you have a screen you have plus minus and enter buttons right here at the left side of the charger you have input xt60 dc input and pd usb c input okay and then coming to the right you have a balance port and an xt60 out so that you can connect your battery uh, with the xt60 connectors if you have other connectors of course you have to make uh, you know conversion connectors now in such a compact body you have this much power well that means there will be heat don't worry there are plenty of vents and a smart quiet fan right here we will find out how quiet it is very soon once i put this to work the charger is running an arm cortex m4 mcu and you can also use it as a digital power supply that means you can easily use it with the sky rc pch 150 power it up and charge your smart devices fast using this power delivery protocol that pch 150 offers up to 100 watt of power you can get out of this using pch 150 with sky rc b6 neo but do remember there's no use using pch 150 with sky rc b6 neo if you're powering it with a professional pd power supply to get 80 watt out this already has enough power to charge your smart devices but again the scenario is if you are outside in the field you're powering it with the dc power then you can use the pch 150 and charge your smart devices very very fast using the power supply feature of this little b6 neo and of course as a digital power supply you can power other equipment as well using b6 neo this b6 neo can charge your batteries with up to 10 amp of current that means you can charge your batteries faster how fast the fan will be running after that well we will find that out very very soon it is very important to know how many safety protection features this charger has it has a short circuit protection over temperature protection capacity protection timeout protection cut off protection over voltage protection and it is flame retardant that means it will not catch fire well i don't intend to find that out but it's good to know that it is flame retardant now that was the charging power you can also discharge batteries using both ports that means xt60 and balance ports so it will use both ports and give you an efficient and advanced discharging power to discharge your batteries with up to 24 watt so you can use this charger b6 neo as a battery voltmeter as well so i'm just gonna plug a 6s battery in the power port and there you are very quietly it shows the battery has 4.3 4.3 4.3 4.3 volts it has a high voltage battery and i have charged it up to 4.35 volts and it's also showing the other information that was using it as a you know a battery voltmeter and now i'm just gonna power it with the six cell battery as it says right here you can power it with dc in 10 to 28 volt here we go yes now it's on all right and i need to hold on it says never use the charger unsupervised that's the first message and a very important message people do remember that all the time 
Okay, so we have uh, right now nothing here. Okay, press enter. You have battery type, all right, and you have LiPo, Lilo, LiFe, LiHV, NiMesh, NiCad, and PB batteries. So basically, you can charge these battery types or this chemistry type with this little charger. Then we have battery cell, it should automatically detect them. Then we have tasks. In the tasks, you have balance charge, charge, storage, and discharge. Okay, so let's choose the balance charge keep it there condition 4.2 volt which is uh, with the heart favorited but you can always charge to 4.22 volt a lipo battery and of course um you know lie hv battery to higher voltage of your choice charge current 3a and then it is saying you are you can start if i press and hold this enter for long I will come to the system settings where I have task parameters, safety timer, max capacity, trickle charge. Okay, what is trickle charge? Do you know that? Well, let me explain the trickle charge. Trickle charge means once your battery has charged, normally it will stop charging. Your charger will stop charging the battery and the cell will stop dropping the voltage, which is natural. Now, what does trickle charge do is that once your battery has fully charged and is still connected, charger has stopped charging, but it will keep providing a little bit of voltage to keep your cells, each of your battery cells to its full power. So when you need the battery, you disconnect the battery, you get complete full power in each cell. So that is a trickle charge. Then we have a holding voltage and back. Then we have system settings. We have language. In language, we have a number of languages. Okay. Then we have minimum input voltage, LCD backlight, volume. Let's make it middle. Okay. Completion signal. Back. We have DC power. So you can set the voltage for your DC power. You can set the current for your DC power if you're using this charger as a DC power. And you can say start. We have battery meter. Should you want to use this charger as a battery meter? You and then we have factory settings, system info, system upgrade. Yes, this is upgradable by firmware. So you will always stay in touch with SkyRC. And whenever there's a new firmware for B6neo, you can always upgrade it. Let's charge a 5,000 milliamp flywing battery for us, okay? So here is the negative and here is the positive. And let's see, the battery is at the moment, if I zoom in, you can see 15.27. It's half battery because it was on storage, okay? So I'm going to go enter LiPo battery 4S balance charge 4.2 volt charge current. Let's see what this baby can do. 10 amps. Okay. And start. It has started charging. Current is going up. Right there. Now we have 10 amps charging current going on. Plus you can see each cell is being charged. All right. We have battery IR as well. DC input and back to charging. All right. So let me be quiet so you can hear the fan. Well, it's pretty quiet, I would say. It's really pretty quiet. All right, now that the charger is charging at 10 amps, you can see the temperature from my thermal camera. This is an FLIR camera in my Duji cell phone. And you can see that at the moment, the heat is only at the other side. At the fan side, I'm not seeing any heat. Maximum, I see 43 degrees. 
okay and the powerhouse here as you can see now you see that red area okay I hope camera can focus right here I see maximum 44 45 degrees not more than that maximum 44 45 degrees okay the connector at the right side is 38 degrees maximum and connector at the left side is 41 degrees 41 point something degrees maximum so charger is actually staying at a very nice cool levels it's not heating up so the smart fan control which is as you can see pretty quiet is actually working very well keeping the charger nice and cool and look at that the battery is actually almost charged so it's pretty quick for charging as well but of course when you're doing such fast charging do remember to use a higher capacity battery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this charging so let's try the discharge feature and see how fast we can discharge this forest 5000 milliamp and and what is the fan or B6 nail sound are like so stop I will come down to uh, discharge all right let's say condition 3.3 volt well let's just say 3.4 volt discharge current maximum up to 2a start now I can see the voltage is dropping before it was climbing the voltage is dropping and if I keep quiet that's the only sound that is the only sound you hear hmm I smell the smell of new electronics working let me say hold on please you will watch my big head okay I just sniffed the charger and there is no abnormal electronic smell that is the smell of brand new electronics brand new electronics in its right condition no abnormal smell there yes I have a little bit of warm air coming out as it is normal it's natural it is discharging the battery at 2 amp all right so that was a DC power now I'm gonna supply it with PD power okay so this is a USB-C coming in here and once again the charger starts okay and now you can see USB-C PD input okay and it is showing 65 watt of power coming in voltage is 20 volt current is 3.25 amp so now what I'm gonna do is connect my <coughs> six cell battery which I was just using as a DC power supply and it's running out of battery and now I'm gonna charge it now that is connected on PD power supply 60 watt of 65 watt of power 20 volt 3.25 a current remembering these I'm gonna charge my six cell battery which I was just using as a uh, you know power supply uh, as a DC power for this charger so it is a lie HV I'll go to lie HV 6 cell balance charge 4.3 and uh, 3.25 so let's just say um, to be safe we charge it on 2.5 because we are getting 3.25 amp only otherwise I can just always put it on 3 amp all right and go down start I see it's uh, increasing the power amps and watt 51 watt maximum all right and 2.2 a maximum current 2.22 a maximum current at the moment the charger is supplying on a PD power now while the B6 Neo is charging on the PD power supply coming from my Basios from here let's see what are they feeling like 
So I have 33 degrees on the uh, basios. Okay. And 36 degrees on the cable. All right. And then we have batteries getting warm and charger is at a very nice temperature. What my worry, actual worry was that the cables will be very, very hot. Okay. But as I can see, cables are not hot. They are at normal operating temperature. So, with the DC power supply and with the PD power supply, as you can see, temperatures are staying at normal temps. All right, people, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I have covered almost everything about the Sky RC B6 Neo. This is your stylish, tiny, but mighty charger. And as they advertise its features, so far everything is working very well what i was most concerned about when you put so much power in such tiny compact body the heat is a big problem heat dissipation is the biggest problem and most of the time stuff or devices like this overheat especially when you are dealing with bigger batteries charging six cell batteries four cell batteries and charging them with up to 10 amp current but i'm very very happy to see that just now you're watching the video i have used an flir thermal camera actual flir thermal camera to see what are the heat levels like and you have all watched all of those heat levels are properly in normal working temperatures range so i'm very very happy about that and yes i was also worried because in the past some of the devices that i've used for such powerful things for doing such powerful jobs the connectors were getting very very hot but using the sky rc b6 neo even the connectors are staying at normal working temperature as you have seen through the FLIR camera just now in this video. If still there is something that I have left out, please let me know in the video comments and I'll be more than happy to post another video about it. Sky RC is definitely releasing very, very good chargers. I have T1000, I have D200 Neo, and now I have this B6 Neo right here in my hands. And don't forget, Coming up next, the Sky RC Q200 Neo, a quadrupole charger, a charger that you can use to charge four batteries at the same time with up to 400 watt power. That video review is coming soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button